when browsing some C++ code bases, you may have came across this pattern. A class with a single member that is a pointer type, usually called impl. Pointer to impl, or pimple for short, is a C++ idiom common in large code bases. But what does it achieve? Let's first take a quick review for C++ compilation. For each CPP file, the preprocessor handles directives such as include and define, essentially copy and pasting header contents into the CPP file before the compiler generates an intermediate object file for linking. The problem lays in the include directive. Since headers may include other headers, it is very easy to drag dependencies across multiple translation units. If you only modify a downstream header, then maybe only a single CPP file is recompiled. However, if you change an upstream header file by even a little, every downstream CPP file that directly or indirectly includes a header is now considered dirty and needs to be recompiled as well, leading to cascaded compile times. In the case of the pimple idiom, the header only contains the public API of the class. And since the actual class is merely an opaque pointer in the header, any modifications in the CPP file does not trigger the cascading compile time effect. Note that if you change the public API in the header, you would still suffer from the cascading recompilation. But for refactors that only involve changing the CPP file, you only recompile a single translation unit. So that sounds great. Shouldn't we just use the pimple idiom for every single header file? It turns out that this is not the best idea either. The pimple idiom forces a pointer in direction. The implementation object lives elsewhere in memory. Anytime you access the object, you pay the cost of a pointer dereference, which isn't a lot, but it can still add up quickly, especially if your heap is fragmented. You can still use arenas or allocators instead of calling new and delete for every single implementation object, but still, the pimple idiom introduces an additional layer of pointer indirection, so be careful and not abuse it.